Hello, Lincoln Park. This is Terry Dangerfield, the superintendent of the Lincoln Park Public Schools. I want to take a moment and inform you that this evening, Tuesday, August 18th, the Lincoln Park Board of Education voted to implement the Phase 3 Continuity of Learning Plan for the month of September with a mandatory evaluation and recommendation for further learning no later than the end of September. So what does this mean? It means that the Lincoln Park Public Schools are delaying our face-to-face -face option and will be implementing face-to-face -face learning at a slower pace. This means that all students will start the year in a virtual environment, being taught by our Lincoln Park teachers with opportunities for small group face-to-face -face instruction beginning in mid to late September. So why did we do this? As you know, we presented a plan with face-to-face -face five days a week as an option. We shared that with all of our stakeholders. We received input from all of our stakeholders, our parents, our students, our staff, and our union partners. The reality is that there are too many questions that we just cannot have an answer for, and we're three weeks away from school. There are still guidance that we need in order to have a school function efficiently. There are uncertainties that we just don't feel comfortable with in regards to operating a safe environment. Also, over 50% of our community have now selected a full online option for their students. We hear your voice. Make no doubt about it. The plan that we created is the safest plan that we and LP can provide using the current guidance, recommendations, and the physical building constraints that we have. That being said, that right now may not be enough. We need to get this right. So we are delaying our implementation while we await further guidance and more consistent direction from those agencies and departments that we depend on and need to help us do this right. In the meantime, as I stated, we will begin some small group face-to-face -face opportunities later in September. More information will be coming out about that. For our teachers, there will be days that are required for you to report to the buildings, and there will also be days with some flexibility. More information will be shared with you in the next few days. Lincoln Park, we tried. We have every intention of offering face-to-face -face options for our students as soon as possible because we universally believe that that is what's best for our students. We developed a plan and presented it six weeks before school to provide ample time so that we can approve it and hear from our stakeholders. With this delayed implementation of our full face-to-face -face plan, we hope to see some further guidance, some further assistance, so that we can ensure that we get it right for the sake of our staff, our community, and of course our students. I respect that not everyone will be happy with this decision, and I truly respect everyone's arguments regarding what is right for schools to do this fall. I, as you, personally struggle. I believe that kids should be in school. I want kids in school. I believe that it is possible to do that in a safe way. But I also hope that you can all respect the incredible situation that schools and local communities are in, and that really there's no right or wrong way. There just isn't. We are all trying to do the best that we can with so much changing information, data, messaging, and firm support. While all school districts have many things in common, we also have some very unique and distinct differences. In the Lincoln Park Public Schools, we have to do what is best for all of us and what we are confident we can do for you and your family. Rail splitters, we will get through this. We're strong. I ask that we all continue to work together, fight together for the right things for our school district, and look forward to that day when we can all have this in our rearview mirror. Stay safe, Lincoln Park. Schools will begin on September 9th. That has not changed, and more information will be shared about that soon. We respect you, your families, and the importance of the safety and academic needs of our children. Thank you, and go Rails.